everybody i am actually doing a request today and if i'm not mistaken the girl's name is carrie i'm sorry if i got that wrong but she asked me if i had any patterns or tutorials to show how to make um a peasant dress in a uk size 6 8 um, I didn't at the time and I finally got to her request so I'm doing that today. So a UK size 6-8 which I found out is a US size 2-4 which is actually my size. So I am going to make a dress out of this and I have devised the pattern here. This pattern is available for sale um, but this tutorial is specifically for my viewer who wanted this pattern so this pattern along with this video will go together so there will not be a pdf tutorial for this this video here will be specifically for this pattern so when you purchase this pattern you will be directed to this video to sew along with me and this will be up um, in the description the link to purchase this will be in the description and the directions for printing will also go along with it but this here this video sorry is the tutorial for this pattern so I have my rough dress here and it's just half this is not the whole dress obviously and I didn't make it a complete dress because you may want your shorter, you may want yours longer. So all you're going to do is follow down the line and just cut down to however long you want your dress. So what you're going to do first is fold your fabric in half. I folded mine widthwise and I have my fabric on the wrong side. So both of the wrong sides, when you look at your fabric, should be facing you. And the right sides should be facing each other. And I'm using today a knit. This is just a cotton knit. It has a nice stretch to it. I believe it has a four-way stretch. Actually, it's just a two-way stretch. So that works too. So um, because this is a two-way stretch, I have mine to stretch this way. So when I put it on, it'll have I'll have a little bit more give this way as opposed to up and down so anyway what I'm going to do this is a yard of fabric that I'm using and I'm going to fold this in half again this is folded widthwise and then I'm going to fold it again why you ask so when I cut I could just cut everything at the same time and that will give me the two pieces that I need for my peasant dress now that I have this folded twice, I am now going to use my pattern and I am going to cut two pieces on the fold. And this is already the length that I want for the dress, so I'm not going to cut anything um, at the bottom. So I am going to place my pattern at the very top of my fabric. We're going to pin this down and one key you want to use which I learned is don't use a straight stitch when you're working with knit fabrics you want to use if your sewing machine has a setting for knit fabric use that setting if it doesn't just go ahead and use a zigzag stitch because that will allow the fabric to continue to stretch when you use a straight stitch, it doesn't stretch and it tends to unravel when you go to put the fabric on you because it's not allowing the fabric to naturally stretch as it, as it would. So use a zigzag stitch or find on your computer, I mean your computer, sorry, find in your sewing machine's manual the setting for stretch fabric. So now that I have this here, I'm going to pin it down so I can get the two pieces that I need for front and back and then we'll start putting it together and then we'll start sewing it. What I'm doing right now is I'm just pinning it just because I want to be sure that it's cut correctly when I do cut it. And like I said this pattern is for a half of a peasant dress or top not the full length so you're going to have to decide when you purchase this what is the length that you want your 
because of dress or top to be. And like I said, this specific pattern is only for a UK size 6, 8, and that is a US size 2, 4 in women. For ladies. So now that I have that pinned, I'm just going to cut. I'm going to start my cutting here. That way I can follow along here. If I cut from the bottom, it probably won't come out right. So I'm because I'm right headed, I'm gonna flip this <laughs> so I can cut it. Okay, there we go. And making peasant dress dresses and tops are one of the easier things if you're a beginner, if you're intermediate, if you're um, advanced, you will find that the peasant tops are so simple and so easy to make that you can pretty much doctor it and make it how you want. So that's the great thing about using simple patterns and creating something great out of it. start cutting and you want to make sure you have a good pair of scissors when you're sewing a good pair of scissors makes a world of difference I didn't used to think so but now I realize it does and my pattern also has the quarter inch seam allowance so when you purchase it the seam allowance is already there I'm going to cut down, I'm going to follow the, the line of the pattern, and I'm just going to keep going down until I finish cutting all the way. And mine is going sort of in an A line, so that's what I'm cutting. Here is the rest of the A line for this pattern. And also, another tip about knit fabric is you don't really need to do a seam. If you want to, you can, because this fabric doesn't fray. That's the great thing about working with knit fabric. It doesn't fray. And this one that I'm using is more of a lightweight. So it works for me for spring and it also will work for me for summer. Um, if I were making this for winter, I would go with more of a medium weight or a heavy weight, but because Thankfully, I've made this tutorial around springtime. This is great for this weather. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and cut around the neckline. And you can make sleeves um, if you, I will reference my video for my kids channel to show you how to make sleeves but I will show you how to do it in here. I'm actually not making sleeves for mom. So, there we have it. This is my peasant dress that I will be showing you how to sew together. We have this, let's take our pins out. And once you make your first one, if you make a mistake and you make your first one and you don't like the way it looks, the greatest thing about making mistakes is learning what you did wrong and then you can go back the next time and do it the right way. So because of the way I cut mine, now I have two pieces. See? It makes it easier to cut things that way when you're making a dress and you have one yard of fabric and you're a little confused on how to cut it. So now, like I said, because I'm not doing sleeves and I'm still on the wrong side of my fabric, all I did was unfold. So what I'm going to do now is pin. You're just going to sew this little corner here. You're going to leave your sleeves out, obviously, and then you're going to pin along both sides. Sewing. 
if at any point you don't understand what I'm doing, please don't hesitate to ask me questions. I will get back with the answers as soon as possible. You can ask your questions on my Twitter page. You can ask your questions on my Google Plus page. You can ask your questions um, just down below in the comments, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. So now that I have that one side pin, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and pin the other side. This can be very versatile and for me, I'm not going to create a waist for this because I'm going to use um, some accessories I already have, like a big belt and just put it around the center for me. It's time to sew. Now I'm going to um, just go over what I said again because I don't have a sleeve so I, I you don't want to make the mistake and sew this close because this is where you're putting your arm, this is your armhole. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to sew this little corner here really securely. I'm going to go over it several times before I fold them over. And then I'm going to start sewing again right here at the end of the armhole and all the way down the sides. On both sides, I'm using zigzag stitches for this. So I went ahead and I rolled this down once. And what I'm going to do is go over it again. And you decide um, how big you want your hem. It could be a quarter inch, it could be a half inch, it could be a full inch, you know, two inches if you want. It's up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable with, that's what I would suggest you do for your hem. So now that I have this rolled down once, I want to roll down again just to give myself a double hem. Then I'm just going to go ahead here and just pin as I fold. That way everything stays in place. It just makes it much easier for me. So I am folding both sides at the same time. That also makes things easier for me. Please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. So I'm keeping it on the zigzag that I had it on before. I'm just going to pull this close up and start sewing here. And the same as before, you don't want to push it through. You just want to let the sewing machine do its job. And yes, I am still doing using a zigzag stitch. And that piece is just a little bit thicker and it's giving the sewing machine just a little bit of a difficult time. Okay. And I'm going to keep with my zigzag stitch all the way around. Alright, so now I am done with the hem on the bottom. And I'll get off all those other stitches, hanging stitches later. But as you can see, it's all done. So now what I'm going to do with the top, like I said, we did connect it right here. It's a really thin piece. As you can see if you're not adding the sleeves so you want to be careful with that I'm actually not going to hem the ends here I'm just gonna leave that like it is but I am going to do something with this neck and this actually I cut mine a little bit bigger just because in the summertime when I'm wearing mitts I just like them to be a little bit looser just because you know it's so hot in the summer already that um, you know, I don't want things sticking to me. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna be very careful here because that piece is so thin. And I'm just gonna roll this down just like I did the bottom to get my hem. I'm actually going to wait before I iron it. And I'm going to roll this down one more time. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Then I'm gonna pin it. I'm going to sew it and then we're going to flip it out and we'll see how it looks. What I'm going to show you now is a little trick. And this, we're doing this because our side pieces here are so thin. So what I'm going to do before I hem around each side of the collar, I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to sew this down. You give me a little bit of a thicker um, shoulder here. 
So um, I'm going to do that to both sides. And then we're going to do just like we did before and sew around one side and then sew around the other side. I'm just put this in the machine. I'm just going to sew down. And I'm going to kind of do it in a diagonal. Make sure you backstitch to secure it. And then just keep on sewing up. And you find what you like that works best for you as far as when you're doing this. Okay, I'm going to cut that. See? And that's how it looks. And I'm just going to cut this part off. And we don't need that part because we have that sewn. And I'll get rid of those a little later. So I'm going to go on this side and do the same thing. And I'm going to do this in a diagonal as well. So now that we've done that, now we're going to go ahead and do our collar see and what it gives you is a little bit thicker piece here so it doesn't rip when you're wearing it and I'm gonna actually turn this down from two back to its original setting just because I'm doing a thin collar piece and I don't want my stitch to be too long so I'm just coming to the last little bit of stitching here. It took me a little bit of time just because for whatever reason I kept getting stuck. So I had to keep stopping and pulling through and so on and so on. Like I'm just having to do. So. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this right side out. And I'm not going to put it on right now just because um, <laughs> I'm not going to put it on right now. But I will show you on my family channel what it, look, what it looks like. When I'm ready to wear it. And if you look at my collar here, you see that it's kind of rolled. What that says to me is that I should have probably kept my length on two it's just too tight and that's why this knit fabric rolled like that at the neckline it does look a little big but like i said i like for my knit dresses in the summer to kind of um be a little loose just because i may want to wear a belt and give it a little bit of a ruching or you know just to have it so it's not clinging to me because in the summer it can get really hot so this is the, again, this dress here, along with the pattern, was a request from one of my viewers. And um, she can go ahead, if you're watching, I will put this, I will let you know, like I told you, that I have the pattern ready for you to purchase. And this is the tutorial that goes with it. Again, for everybody else, this pattern is for a UK size six, Eight, which in the US would be a size 2-4. If you would like for me to design you a peasant dress pattern or any other kind of pattern, just let me know. Put it in the comments of one of my videos or send me an email letting me know that. I wanted to give you a few little tips on the knit fabric. Um, mine I made just a little bit wider. Like I said, I like it to be loose. Um, not to mention I've gained a little weight but I'm still between a uh, two, four. And again, the pattern for this tutorial that we just did is for the peasant dress, UK size six, eight, which would be US size two, four. Now, when you're working with knit fabrics, you want to find out where the stretch is. If you have a two-way stretch, I tend to like my stretch for two-way to go width-wise on me lengthwise not so much unless of course i'm making um some shorts or something like that and i really don't matter but if it's a four-way stretch it really doesn't matter which way you cut if in fact 
you have your setting on your sewing machine too tight, you will get the roll like I did here on the collar. And I should have left my width, at, I mean my length, I'm sorry, at 2 instead of 1.4, which is the computerized setting on there because I did not have that problem at the bottom hem or either on the sides. You want to use also a zigzag stitch, not a straight stitch, because what happens when you use a straight stitch, and I have in my other video, I learned that after I made that video, that using a straight stitch doesn't work because it makes it too tight and then when you go to put it on, it's extremely too, stuck, too tight and then the the seams rip. The other thing about knit fabric and any fabric that you're working with, you always want to pre-shrink. Definitely, definitely with knit fabrics because if they're not pre-shrunk when you wear it and then you go to wash it and put it in the washer to dryer, it's going to shrink and it's going to unravel your seams, which you don't want to happen. Of course, if it's yours, you're making it. You can restitch it, but you just don't want to have to go through that. So always pre-shrink your fabric. Um, you can pre-wash it and pre-shrink it, but I just go about pre-shrinking mine first because I always wash it after I make a garment. So if you have any questions, if it's something that I didn't cover for you with the knit fabric or with the peasant um, pattern tutorial, again, this tutorial is simply for this pattern that I made for my viewer. Um, as always, you can ask me anything you want. If you have requests, go ahead and leave those in the comments. I will leave the link to this pattern in the description as well as the other peasant dress tutorial I made with sleeves so that you know how to make a peasant dress with sleeves. Um, let's see, am I missing anything here? So also if you want to see my family on a daily basis, just me interacting with my kids or my husband, you can go ahead and view my family channel that is on that is also in the description. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe and I will see all of you next week. Bye.